Good morning everyone, how you doing? How are you? Good morning, welcome to the 10 a.m. stream. Uh, streaming every single day, every single weekday, 10 o'clock in the morning and free streams every evening, uh, free streams of free evening streams in the week, Tuesday, Friday and Sunday. So we're streaming twice a day, every other day, um, lots of streams, hopefully it's all good. Now, I've just come on and I've got the red buffer in the bar right that should go it should go all right just refresh it should go how are you all <laughs> what no PUBG unsub oh god right let me say hello to everyone um what let me say hello to everyone whilst it's buffering <laughs> it should fix itself hello radar hello pug Miklos, rocha and paul thank you for being a sponsor hello monk how you doing hello booker and snowy sj how are you mate uh, and sab of course how are you scrap poo poo uh, pew pew, sorry, not poo poo. Hello, Vibe, how you doing? Scara, thank you for being a sponsor. Codus, thank you very much. Appreciate that, mate. And Graham, how are you? Good morning. Hello, Jay, how are you? Kimo, thank you for being a sponsor, mate. And Matty, and Dazzy. Dazzy? Oh, hello, D oh, hello, Dazzy. How are you? And Schwing, and he's got a spanner now. Schwing is a spanner. And yeah, all your icons have um, returned. Balding Beagle, how you doing, mate? Thank you for being a sponsor. I think that's everyone. I think that's everyone. Potter, thank you very much, mate. And Matt, of course, uh, thank you for being a sponsor. Hello, Vibe. Hello, Tone. I got you, Potter. I got you. Now, hopefully, it might be alright. It might be fine. It might be fine. Um... Yeah, I, I do worry about that red bar, but it's fine. Right, we're just going to do Conquest. Right, Battlefield 1. Okay, Battlefield 1. Arnie, how are you doing? And your little um, GT UK has come back as well. Uh, Battlefield 1, you know, I've revisited it recently on the PC and the PlayStation 4. So if you've got it on either platform, I've started up a platoon. And I'm playing, I'm rotating. I'm playing on PlayStation 4. Uh, I'm playing on PC. If you go to platoons and search for GT UK or Game Tech UK, join in. Right, I'll accept your um, request, not a problem. Join in, play along. New maps coming soon. Five new maps. The one I'm most excited is called London Calling. Um, there's, it, it's over London. It's in London. I can't wait for that. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Uh, for now, we're playing um, just Conquest, messing around on all the maps. So this is still, this game is still alive. It's still alive. Uh, there's still lots of people playing. There's still content coming. I think this DLC coming um, in about a month's time is the last DLC. Then they're probably going to move on to whatever's next. Um, yes, you are, Ronsi. You are, you are a sponsor again. Right, let's go quick, match. <coughs> I know, Matty. It's amazing, isn't it? I know. Right, Conquest. Yeah, it's very central, uh, Codus. You know that. How often will you play? Not very, not very often. Uh, I'm not going to pretend that I'm going to be like banging on with Battlefield One. Uh, probably once a week. Um, yeah, it's not going to be massive. Um, I like it. I like this game. I've always liked this game, and it just feels comfortable coming back to it. It's nice. I didn't give it the time it needed um, when I used to play it before. I played it a lot, and then Elite come along. <laughs> Elite's got a fucking lot to answer for, isn't it? Uh, Assetto ba Battlefield, yeah, exactly. Is it worth coming back to? If you've already got it, yeah, of course, yeah, definitely, yeah. PC or PlayStation 4 tonight? This is PC. This is PC, mate, today. The last stream that I did on Battlefield 1 was the PlayStation 4. Um, Battlefield is an old man's game. Is it? Is it really? Right, let's get into Charlie. Let's get balls deep into Charlie. And let's go. Let's, uh, let's, let's see what we got. So hopefully... Um, Hopefully it isn't buffering. That's what that's what I'm worried about. I've got the red bar. Now that red bar will go very soon. It will go, but oh shit, here we go. There seems to be a lot of problems on the internet at the moment. PlayStation Network is down. Yeah, PlayStation Network is fine now, but it was down last night. No buffering. Oh, okay, that's weird. That's weird. Because normally whenever I get that um, whenever I get that message, that's it. I'm done. I'm I'm done. Now, I do like a bit of Battlefield, I really do. <clears throat> like I say, the new maps, uh, I think it's, I've, I don't think they're, it's called Apocalypse, their new DLC. I don't think they're badging it as Battle of Som, but I know one of the maps in there is called Som, and it's talking about the final biggest battle. I think it, I think they're basing it around the Battle of Som. Um, 
it's going to be awesome. But the London map, I'm very, very interested in, and some of the uh, some of the uh, <coughs> some of the concept art um, of uh, you know biplanes flying over London just looks absolutely awesome. It probably will buffer on 3G. Yeah, it probably will. We're just going to take it slow today, we're just going to take it slow. But yeah, we're definitely coming back to it. I'm not going to pretend and start saying... Um, there's, no, there's no, no new, new maps yet, um, SJ. No, there's no new maps yet. We've got turning tides, but yeah, we played them last time. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, that's one of us, that's one of us. <coughs> A sentry kit is available in New York location. I'm just happy playing Battlefield 1, to be honest with you. It is an awesome little game, and I am going to get out. I'm going to get out. <laughs> I need to get out of there, because that tank is gone. Maybe trying to perfect my uh, first person shooter skills ready for PUBG. <laughs> Hello Slimian, how you doing? Yeah, map dying, it's still there. I can still prone, I can still prone. Look, there you go. I need to move that button. What, what I thought initially was a good idea. Um, oh my god! What I thought was initially a good idea in PUBG of moving the map button to my mouse, um, every time I talk. <laughs> every time it happens, every time shit goes down, I, gen I tend to like grip my mouse, go prone, and open up the map. And uh, it's becoming a thing. It's becoming its own meme now. They're coming. Oh, that was hilarious, though, wasn't it? Scarab. I mean, normally Scarab's cool as a fucking cucumber. And there he was. They're coming. They're coming in. They're coming in. It was just too much. It, I think his panic um, just started me off. You know, it just absolutely started me off. And then getting in that car as well. It, it was. It was really fun. I do love um, playing PUBG with friends. Absolutely love it. Well, that's not got much range, is it? Oh, you got it, Slimian. Oh, awesome. On PC or um, Xbox? If you're on PC, mate, you're more than welcome to join. Any regular on the channel um, is free to join Sundays. PC, awesome. All you need is that you do need a decent mic. That's the only requirement. Um, skill is not important, right? <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be playing. I don't care if you're a noob. Obviously, you got to know the basics of the game. Um, the most important thing is a half-decent mic. Because if it's got a terrible mic, um, it's just people won't tune in, you know. Um, if you've got a decent mic, then you are more than welcome. <coughs> right, I've gone green again now, so uh, I can I can just relax now. Yeah, it's weird, weird. We are losing objective. So yeah, the stream's gone green. I can just relax uh, for a couple of hours. I was in tears when I get watching that. It was crazy, wasn't it, Shreen? Get in the fucking car! Get in the fucking car! I, I wasn't actually stopping the car for you to get in, was I? <laughs> I'm tuning in for you all hanging shite on the guy with the bag. Yeah. No, we're doing mic check first. If there's no decent mic, then you can't come in. It, I, that's, no, that's not strict. That's just for the, for the uh, benefit of the stream. Oh my god. You just got to that part. Yeah, it it's uh, it sort of went downhill from there actually.
I had a couple of bad starts. I mean, my first game, my first game, I was, uh, this is PUBG we're talking about. Um, <laughs> it was just black screen for bloody half the game. You know, it's crazy. Oh, for God's sake. This is brutal, I tell you. Well, I've only just come on, Jay, and I'll fucking... You know you know it anyway. You know Jay. You're in a box, yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's go back in the tank. Get some kills in this little baby. I do like the tanks in Battlefield. I really do. Oh god, I'm getting done here. It's fine. He needs to go. He needs to go. Hello, uh, Cat, um, JD, how you doing? I'm calling you Cat now. Hello, Stylo, how you doing? No idea, Snowy. I'm guessing, um, I think it's going to be some kind of World War II, because um, obviously they, they, they reset the counter, didn't they? They called it World, uh, Battlefield 1, as in, as in World War 1. I think they're going to go World War 2 of some sort. Hello, Jamie, how you doing? I think it's going to be a variation on something within the Second World War. I don't think it's going to be as clear-cut as... Um, Oh my god. Arnie, this is an awesome game. It is an awesome game that deserves a, a spot in your collection. There's no doubt about that. It really is good. The thing is about it, the, the weakness is you either, <clears throat> you either have to be good at first person shooters, which I'm not, right? But it doesn't stop me playing them. Definitely doesn't stop me playing them. Or you have to practice at this game quite a lot, which I'm not doing as well. <laughs> so it, it's, it's, it is a hard one. Where's my map? Where's my map? <laughs> Pointy sticks and rocks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hello, Binny. How you doing? Thank you for all coming in, lads. I do appreciate it. I know Battlefield 1 isn't... Um, certainly not the most popular game to stream. Never worried about that. I love. I just fancy playing it, you know? I fancy playing it a little while ago. That's why I reinstalled it on the PC. Reinstalled it on the PlayStation 4. Started at pl a Platoon. Some of you lads joined in. It's great. It's great. So, yeah, forget whether it's... Uh, popular or not I don't really care about that too much um, I just you know me I like to I like to play what I'm fancy playing oh get out we have an airship yeah no worries Hayes no worries mate Yeah, I know, end up rent, rent, spending more time spawning, I know, but that doesn't stop me enjoying it though, see that's the funny thing about me and gaming, I'm certainly not the best gamer, you, you know that, I don't even need to tell you that. Does it ever affect me though, or, or worry me? No, not at all. Never has done. As long as you're enjoying it, it can get frustrating, admittedly. It can get frustrating when I think, oh my god, why didn't I kill him? You know, he was in front of me. And this is PUBG I'm talking about now. <laughs> exactly, Snowy. You know, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm no pro gamer. Never have been, never will be. But I'm a proper, passionate gamer. And it ain't going to stop me playing an awesome game like this. I mean, look at this game. It's incredible. Um, it wasn't until I reinstalled it, I remembered how much... You know, how good it is. Look at it. It's just amazing. The only thing is, it is, you know, uh, joking aside, it's a bit of a young man's game. 
the reflexes you need to play this game are just way beyond me. Way beyond. Unsub. I know. Hello, Looney. How you doing? Look, Looney, this is like the old days, isn't it? Looney has been a subscriber for so long. Uh, since a, before a thousand subs, wasn't it? Um, when we used to play Battlefield all the time. And here we are. We're playing Battlefield. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm still dying, Looney. You quick at opening maps, yeah, yeah. But yeah, do love, do love a bit of Battlefield, and I'm looking forward to. I'm definitely looking forward to the new update. Uh, oh, here we go. This should be fun. This should be interesting. This can't go wrong. This can't go wrong. This, the, nothing can go wrong here. Nothing. I mean, look at this game. You've got all this plane activity as well, all the vehicles. It really, really is cool. Bit suppressive there. It's fine. Yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> this has got fine written all over it. That airship is on our side, yeah, it's blue, yeah. Let's get in the thick of the action. Um, oh, is there more PC customers? Awesome, awesome. Who's buying a PC now? I missed that. Potter, is Potter. <laughs> Smoothie knows how this goes. Smoothie's another one. <laughs> Smoothie's another an OG subscriber um, who will know Looney as well, actually. Um, yeah, you know how this goes. New update coming soon, Smoothie, so I thought I'd just get back into this, really. Max is awesome, mate. Yeah, he's at school. This is definitely fine. This is, oh, this is first go nerves anyway. Hello, Cartel. How you doing, mate? <clears throat> Project Cars 2, yeah, it does need a decent rig if in VR, yeah, definitely, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, no worries, Smoothie, mate. Whenever you're, whenever you're ready, mate. You know I'm here. I'm always here. Every single weekday, every si yeah, every single weekday, yeah, it's got that right. Every single weekday at 10 o'clock in the morning I stream, and three evenings a week, Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. It's all good. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here to stay, let me tell you. I'm here to stay. I think let's get up to B. We are losing objective Charlie. Oh, wait, he was mine. That's the thing here, every time you, you, you've got to be so quick, everything about this game has got to be so quick. If you line someone up, there's no fucking around, you have to kill, there's no time to line up because someone else will have it, you know? It's crazy. I know, I know, Looney, I know, it's all good though, I'm back on it now, I'm back on it. Not not regularly, I'm not, you know, this hasn't got a, a permanent spot weekly, but as much as I fancy playing it, I'll be back on it. And if you think this is bad, wait until you see me on controller trying to play with a PlayStation 4, lads. It's unbelievable. But who cares, you know?
Oh, awesome, Looney. I am too, yeah. We have taken objective one. Right, that's. Oh, we've got someone coming here. Someone's coming in hot. But of course, they're already taken by the fast dudes, aren't they? Yeah, you got the 1080 Ti, you know, which is awesome. Yeah, 1500 quid will get you a PC ready for VR. Just be aware that you might, you know, you know, you might have a few little upgrades you want to do in maybe a year's time, you know. Come back here. Get back here. Oh, it's everywhere uh, with now, and imagine with um, we have lost with objective. headphones on as well, really loud. I always have it way too loud. It's probably why I'm shouting. But <laughs> it's immense. It really does the job of conveying war really, really well. Yeah, exactly, aren't it? Yeah. I don't think I've taken screen shank off like I did in my own video. Uh, let's have a look. Where's screen shank? Where is it? Where is where? Where is it? Okay, maybe it's in gameplay. Advance. Camera shake, yes, we don't want that at all. Far too much shaking going on. Starts out, I won't spend we more than the grand. Yes, yeah, you're totally right, Matt, yeah. And with PCs, uh, unfortunately, it has to be that way, you know, it has to be that way. If you get the PC that you can afford just to do the job for now, you'll suddenly start finding other uses that you had for the PC, or you'll want to play games at a higher resolution, or, you know, it's, taken objective just be aware that PC gaming can actually be quite addictive, you know? Um, upgrading, specking, it, you know, it can get quite addictive. You don't really... Luckily, that's the good thing about consoles. That's the beautiful thing about a console. Until they started with all this six months, and then we're going to do a pro, then we're going to do a slim version, then we're going to do fucking, you know, all that, you know? Yeah, Far Cry 5, yes, that would be cool. Real life, yeah, I know, Matt. Yeah, you've tried it and you've got it, yeah. Yes. It happened to me, right? <clears throat> I bought the the most powerful processor available at the time, 32 gig of RAM, nice motherboard. Got a 980, right? Got a GTX 980. Um, the T the TI was out, but I thought, no, no, I won't need a TI. That's fine. Um, then about about literally about three weeks later, after getting settled in of being back into PC gaming, I thought, oh shit, I wish I bought the TI. You know? Um, so what I did was I brought another another 980, another 980. So I had two 980s, um, which was fine. SLI, I never recommend going two graphics cards. It, you know, diminishing returns. You never get the 100% of the second card anyway. You're only getting about 40% of the second card. But the games don't support it, right? So oh shit, I got the Oculus Rift. It hated SLI to start with. I think it's a bit better now, but SLI still. It's, it's nothing, it's not given any regard by anyone. Fucking hell. Then, um, about nine months after that... Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> SLI could have been brilliant with VR, because one card each could have done one eye. It just never worked that way. Yeah, see you later, Potter. Um... The only guy misses Moody. Yeah, he does. Um, oh, what's it called? Uh, uh, mixer. He does mixer. Hello, Kurdish. How you doing? Um, yeah. So I uh, got the nine two nine eighties, and then 
Project Cars 1, for example, in VR, I used to have to turn the second card off because the Oculus would just go absolutely mental. It would, it would just go crazy. Um, so I ended up buying the Titan um, X, 1200 quid for a graphics card. So I did admittedly, because the 980s were still current, I managed to sell one of them uh, for half decent money and then Max is using the other one in his PC now. So it hasn't gone to waste as such, but if I'd just brought correctly to start with, I wouldn't have had to... For fuck's sake, I've been absolutely destroyed. Um, if I'd just got the one that I should have got to the start, I would have saved myself a grand basically you know um yeah <laughs> getting a bit low on like what likes are we on come on i'm trying here right that's my that's my first uh that's my first go right the first goes always shit all right let's just let's just relax now SLI would only be worth it if you got the best card on the market and need more power. Yes and no, Arnie, because the amount of brand new games that come out that don't support SLI, so you have to end up turning it off anyway, because it actually works, it runs worse with two cards than it does with one. Um, yeah, yeah. 77,000, GTX 970, 16 gig of RAM, eats every game. Yeah, I bet it does. The weakness, right? The thing I shouldn't have done is gone, oh, I want 4K. Gaming on like gaming in 4K is so fucking hungry. Um, I've got this 4K monitor with G Sync, it's lovely, it's delicious. This game just bleeds, makes your fucking eyes bleed. I should have just gone 2K, should have gone 1440. Um, I mean, yeah, the PlayStation 4 does 4K, but it's not, it, it sounds horrible, it's not PC 4K Ultra, it's not the same, you know, it's just, re you know, it's just takes so much power so much power if I so I've shortened the life of my own graphics card by going 4k if I just gone um, I wanted to go above 1080 because obviously the consoles are on 1080 um, you can rescale it on it it's fine it's fine yeah I mean that is one of the reasons I wear these glasses sitting here at this distance because in, in some games the uh, the text can be a little bit small um, I should have gone, actually, about a year after I got this monitor, um, and it wasn't long ago, um, it went faulty. Uh, sent it back to overclockers, they're brilliant overclockers, that's why I recommend them. Um, I was hoping they might sort of say, oh, yeah, yeah, it's fucked, um, do you want credit, and they'll choose another monitor. I was actually going to downscale to 2K, maybe go ultra wide, maybe. <laughs> um, just go 2k because the difference between 2k and 4k um, is not that much but you're going to extend the life of your own graphics cards you know um, 4k in PC I wouldn't rush out again to get I just wouldn't <clears throat> I mean you know it looks lovely this game I mean the thing is about 4k though you don't need much if any AA because the uh, anti aisling because the the resolution is so fucking high that you're not getting jagged the edges anyway you know what I mean so that that is one advantage I suppose I'll tell you what I'm gonna do while I while I build up me me aiming skill again I'm just gonna go for the objectives try and win on points and just concentrate and just get on with it basically play the objective that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> just play the objective Exactly, yeah, GTA 1080 is a beautiful card. Not even the 1080i, the 1080 is a lovely, the new Pascal stuff is all just so sweet. Oh. I'm gonna be very, I was just casual in that first game, chatting away. I'm gonna try and up my game here, uh, preserve me life. That's one thing I never do in Battlefield, I don't care about dying. Whereas you put me in a game like uh, PUBG, and honestly, I just care about dying so much. I think, yeah, I'll oh, fuck it, I'll just respawn, you know, and uh, I've got to stop that because that stops you playing better, I think. <laughs> Sorry, Craig, yeah. Hello, Suzuki. Uh, Uncharted 4 in 4K looks gobsmacking, in fact, even on the original PlayStation. Yeah, exactly. 
looks way better. I know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, the PlayStation 4 does blow me away, and it really does. It's just a tiny little box that was actually always officially underpowered. The, the, this, this generation of console was always underpowered. There's no doubt. <laughs> He's fucking stabbed me. This generation of consoles, especially the Xbox, was embarrassingly underpowered. But saying that, they seem to have got they seem to have got their optimization I, I, I don't know they seem to have got it into fucking um just in in a line and that some of the things that they create on just the playstation 4 is amazing really fucking hell this is absolutely brutal today it really is <laughs> fucking hell i'm hardly having a chance to do anything Pixel size you yeah, can resolve with your eyes really makes 4K worth it. Uh, yes and no. Come and have a look at this, is what I would say. Because 4K gaming is it, it is amazing. It is. It's just not absolutely necessary. I know, Preza. I know. I can't believe how underpowered, particularly the Xbox was. The Xbox I knew was going to almost fail from day one when they started to say, Oh, we're going to be... <laughs> Whoa! We want to be the multimedia box. We don't want to just be gaming. And I, as soon as they started saying that, I was a bit like, oh, okay, I see what's happening here. Um, what they're basically saying is, shit, we've made a mistake. We've got to try and introduce other things into our console. I don't want a console to be a multimedia machine. You just don't need it. I want a console to be a gaming machine where I put a, a game in and just play a game. I want all the resources you know, for that, not to play bloody Netflix, because you can do that on your phone. Fucking hell, this is absolutely mental. Did you see him just fucking blowing up in the air? Now, now we're getting there. Now the juices are flowing. The juices are flowing now. Yeah, it was a good idea ten years ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Not for the Xbox One, though. We have taken I feel sorry for Xbox, really, because... Like, they was king of the hill, whatever you say regarding PlayStation. And I know that some of you are absolute PlayStation fanboys. Uh, the 360 ruled the roost in the last generation, in my, in my mind. <laughs> Fucking hell! I think the Xbox 360 ruled the roost out of all of them, right? And uh, they had a chance to really take We're Microsoft and Xbox, Xbox as a brand to, to fucking limits, to, to clear up, you know? PlayStation, in my opinion, were a bit on their knees at the end of PlayStation 3. No, it, was just, it just wasn't very good. Yeah, add the Blu-ray, that, that's it. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, Microsoft decided just to bring out a much lesser... A much lesser powered console. I just, I don't, just don't get it. I just never got their decision there. Yeah, pistol over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that is a good thing, present and that's uh, and. Uh, what, what we're doing here, you know, buying 1080s, buying Titan X's, you're actually creating lazy developers because they never actually have to get juice out of your machine. They never do. Never do. They never have to push. Whereas, like you say, and they're doing it with the PlayStation, some of the games that are coming to PlayStation are amazing, aren't they, graphically? And they're having to really, really work hard to try and get every single bit of juice out that they possibly can. We have lost objective apples. I mean, let's not forget, right? The Xbox 360 ruled the roost, and I think it did officially as well. Hey, Skidmark, how you doing, Skidmark? How, how is it? How are you? Don't bring the bullets over here. Xbox 360... Yeah, rolled the roost, right? I'm happy to say that because I really genuinely think. But think about it. Xbox 360 was the one that you had to pay 39.99 to play online. PlayStation 3 
was the one that's free, and yet it's still it's still one. It's crazy, and it just shows that people were just the service they offered was fantastic. Like, look at Sony going down last night. It is unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Um, but yeah, PlayStation Four is an absolute king. That can't the Xbox can't sniff the arse of PlayStation VR. Um, uh, PlayStation, they've even got a VR option that works on the standard edition. It's crazy, isn't it? I don't think they will have a, a, a console because I don't think I don't think the standard 360 uh, standard Xbox is powerful enough, and I don't think enough people are going to buy an Xbox X to warrant um, to warrant a, a VR headset. I'm, I don't know what the fuck has gone on with Microsoft. I really don't. It, and th and this thing they've got, whereas um, releasing games on the PC, you know, Forza Horizon, Forza Seven. You know, and then people are getting excited. Oh, Forza Horizon's got a 4K patch. I was playing it in 4K when it came out because it was on the PC. I just don't get where they're going, you know? Like, the Xbox X come out, and I'm a sucker for, for gadgets. I would have probably brought it. Um, and no more, is it? I know, I know, I know. I'm not, yeah, I'm not on that, um, I'm not on that class. Xbox X come out, and there was absolutely no reason to, for me to buy it. I would have a uh, hundred million percent been wasting every single penny buying an Xbox. To there's no there's no reason, you know. I don't understand what they've done. Maybe it's some part of some longer plan that I just can't see because obviously I'm not privy to it. <coughs> Yeah, Pug, um, the whole of PlayStation, I don't know if it's a DDoS, it, it, it was fucked, no one was on, yeah, no one was on at all. It's back up to normal now. Maybe something's been happening with this Gran Turismo thing as well, maybe it's just been a very, very slow attack that no one's really noticed. I mean, what about a little while ago, right? Um, maybe pushing, yeah, if the case, maybe pushing their Windows Store, yeah, maybe, yeah. It worries me when they say things like, oh, over Christmas, um, Gran Turismo went down, right? You couldn't get on. I think it was Christmas Eve, there. actually. Uh, and what they said was, I mean, this, this is just incompetence as far as I'm concerned. They said, um, oh, there were so many people playing. Um, so many people playing. Oh, let me just get this geezer in. No, let him get me. There were so many people playing that we thought we had a DDoS account, a DDoS attack, so we, we just switched all the servers off. What the fuck? I just don't understand that. What, who made that decision, you know? They wasn't expecting, and they thought that so many people logged on, it basically come across as a DDoS attack. It's because they're so nervous, that's what it is, you know? Looked at the Pro and the Xbox X, both on 4K. Uh, I went for the X. Brilliant, yeah. Yeah, the Xbox X. If you if you're after 4K, um, if you're after 4K, probably the Xbox X might be the better option because um, not all games obviously run in 4K on the. I know they don't as well on the uh, on the PlayStation. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Maybe they are playing Cop Jostling, yes, maybe they are. Let's have a look, where are you, where are you? Yeah, I like the Xbox dashboard as well. Yeah, now what's happened is with, with the PlayStation, they, Sony have kept this. Um, they made a wrong decision in my eyes that every game has got to run on the Pro, and uh, oh shit, they've got the train. Every game has got to run on the Pro and the Standard, regardless. It's got to run on both. Uh, Microsoft have been slightly different and said, no, we can have Xbox X exclusive games. Why not? Yeah, exactly. Why not? What, why not? Um, so you can have an Xbox X game that doesn't always run. It doesn't necessarily mean it's 4K. What it means is that you get you get a bit of a choice with it. 
you can run it in 4K. Um, you can run it with much higher textures. Um, and there's another one as well. Maybe maybe optimized for frame rate. You can do that. I know you can do that with some pro optimized. Um, but uh, they're actual Xbox X exclusive titles, you know, which I think is a good idea. Yeah, should have made an exception in VR. 100%. You little shit. And we got each other. Pentium 3 was the biz, yeah. Pentium 3 was good, actually. Maybe, Arnie. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't agree, actually, um, with this Pro we and X. It, you know, what they should have done, just brought a new console out. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. They, they, this this uh, generation wouldn't have lasted anywhere near the last generation. The last generation was insane for value for money, wouldn't it? Um, even if there's a new console every four to five years, why not? As long as there's backward compatibility, why not? Uh, and rather than this, um, oh, we're going to bring you a slightly better version of the console you've already got. Now, fuck that. Bring me a new console and I'll buy it, you know? Gears of War, Forza, all playable on the PC, Suzuki. No reason to buy it at all. Nothing special to Microsoft itself as a brand, I don't think. Yeah, I don't want consoles to last that long. I think five years is a fair, um, you know, a fair, a fair lifespan. So really, rather than um, PlayStation 4 Pro, it should have been a PlayStation 5. Uh, it should have been. That's what I think. Sony didn't want to alienate the casual players by sacrificing enthusiasts. Maybe. I still think it was a wrong decision, though. Um, because, yeah, some titles need it. Some titles need that extra little bit of a... That, I mean, the PlayStation 4 Pro should have been the PlayStation 4 anyway. You know, in terms of spec. Yeah, backwards compatibility... Um, it's not that important to me, actually. Uh, coming from a PC, you've got full backwards compatibility, you know? I mean, p PC gaming is just a way to go, honestly, it really is. Um, in, in terms of a console, I, I'm not that fussed, really. You're buying a new console because I want new stuff. You know, you, you're fed up with uh, playing your old games. You want, them, you want them to look brand new and shiny. Why do I want to play the old stuff? You know, just keep the old one plugged in. Don't build the new one about around the old one. That's that always confuses me. Yeah, Sony don't seem to be suffering bad sales. Was it really a wrong decision? Yeah, you're right, but I think the that's because at the moment there's no real alternative. Um, the Xbox just isn't. It's almost like the Xbox isn't in the game really, isn't it? And they got the VR. You know, everyone wants VR. Um, a, you know, affordable, easy to use VR. Uh, Sony have just smashed it, and they? <laughs> They've just done it. They've just done it. And everyone's like, well, fuck it, I'll have that. But usually don't have your PC for five years without upgrades. If you. If you buy correctly, yeah, yeah. If you buy correctly, this that goes back to what my initial thing was. If you buy correctly, five years might be pushing it. Um, four years would be would be definitely fine, you know. Well, that's what's happening, Minas. That's in my opinion. That's what's happening a little bit um, with VR at the moment. It's all about having these headsets. But the ultimate experiences, of course, there's awesome things on VR, and I've been blown away, and I've had my jaw dropped, and my eyes bleeding, and laying in bed just afterwards thinking, wow, what did I just experience? But that they're few and far between. On the whole, it's all right having these, you know, oh, oh, um, Vive bringing out an even better headset. It's all about the software, you know. We need we need more VR software. Exactly. Annoyed that my will for PlayStation 3 won't work. Yeah, you're totally right, Slimian. Yeah, yeah. Two grand for a PC, though. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? It's hard. You don't have to play online. I know it's only a small cost. Well, it's 50 quid a year. You don't have to pay to play. You don't have to. And the games will be a generally 
at least half the price uh, you know so your your running costs it's like buying expensive and you know buying a decent printer and the ink is always cheaper buy the cheap one the ink's dearer you know uh, the running costs of it are, are, are quite good you know Yeah, co yeah, Nintendo are just, they're just not even on the map, are they? They're just so bad at marketing their stuff, I think. Fucking hell. I mean, the Wii U, people thought the Wii U was like an upgrade to the Wii. No one even knew what a Wii U was. <laughs> and yeah, they've done this Switch thing. Oh, is it a 3DS? Is it, is it a, a DS or is it, oh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Yeah, you can get an adapter, you can get an adapter. But I'm not advocating one or the other here, you know there's... Um, I mean, look at these graphics, look, fucking hell, look. And this is actually... This is getting on a little bit now, this game. So beautiful. New cardboard box they're bringing out. The Switch is rocking... Uh, is it, though? Is it? Because, you know... We have taken objective it will outsell the PlayStation 4. Now I know you're fucking joking. We have taken objective Duff. No, Miklos, no. Not a chance. No, it won't. <laughs> it won't. Well, how many? 60 million? Is it 70 million PlayStations? There's no way the Switch will out, out, outdo the uh, PlayStation 4. There's just no way. Sold more? No, no way. No way. Exactly, what's the Switch? There's no way. What, the Switch has already sold more than the PlayStation? No. Sorry, I don't agree with that. Yeah, the Switch was out selling Xbox probably, yeah, I agree with that, yeah. 74 million PlayStation sold. There's no way they sold 74 million Switches. Not a chance. Not on your Nello. Codus, you are so right. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I've got a switch. Look, there it is, there, look. <laughs> oh, oh, I've got to pay 60 quid because it's fucking Zelda. Piss off. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, now. <laughs> you are so right. That is, that is it, you've done it. Switch has sold 3 million in 9 months. Well. Good luck to him. Good luck to him. I've never, I've never ever seen the Switch more, you know, correctly described as something you monitor <laughs> your fucking energy bills on. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. We have taken objective butter. I mean, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't. Yeah, if I was given one, I wouldn't be upset about it. But the thing is about them, again, when you're a PC gamer, I'm happy that games are 20, 25. Okay, if I get a triple, triple A, yeah, you, you expect to pay, pay full price. There's no way. I went in there because I was thinking about getting max one. Um, there's no way on this earth I'm paying £60 for a title. £60. No, I'm not paying 60 quid for a game. No way. Not when I'm used to playing, you know, 25 quid. Uh, on PC, there's no way I'm paying £60 for a game. Just refuse it. Keep this thing still! Fucking hell. <laughs> the Switch isn't even in this generation, I totally agree. Yeah, 60 quid for a game, Suzuki, it's just, it, it blows my mind. And uh, they're, they're, they're lapping it up. they fucking lapping it up. And uh, Nintendo needs it, doesn't it? It needs it, so, you know. I'm getting fucked today, aren't I? And you know the first, I mean the first range of games always, always, always are very bare bones, very, uh, you know, oh shit, we better make a game just so you can play it on the console. You found playing 60 quid for that? No way. The Wii was, the Wii was awesome. No one can deny that the Wii was just a magical bit of fucking kit, you know. The Wii was, 
it didn't matter that the graphics were shit. It did not matter. And now, it's even a viable little console now, isn't it? And you can pick them up, literally, for 10, 20 quid. I love the Wii. The, the Wii was a, a definite moment, wasn't it? A game moment. Shit. Yeah, they're still earning money, yeah. Just released Skyrim. Yeah, people traveling 200 hour RPG. Yeah, I mean, that, that would work really, wouldn't it? If you're on the train, you do an hour of Skyrim or whatever game every day. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'd even consider one. If I was a commuter, then maybe I'd possibly consider one. <laughs> you had a wee this morning, did ya? We'd love to see Nintendo's version of a next-gen console. Well, that is it. The the Switch is it. That's that is their idea of a next-gen console. That's that's what's scary about it. We are losing objective butter. But it's all good. It's all it's all there for choice, and that's what I like. It's all it's all about choice. You don't have to buy any of this. You don't have to. You don't even have to join in any of it, you know. You can watch if you're not if you you can watch people on YouTube play games. You don't have to join in with anything. It's all about choice. I do like that part of it. You know, you don't want to switch. Don't buy a fucking switch, you know. I'm getting destroyed. I'm getting fucking destroyed today. Absolutely destroyed. Look, there's Raider. Look, let's let's stick with the team. Fuck it now. Yeah, maybe a bit too much choice. I mean, it was, you know, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, wasn't it? You know, now it's fucking this, that, and the other. And the amount of peripherals that you can buy now for your gaming as well. And they're not exclusive, are they? You have to buy them uh, for each an individual console, which gets a little bit tedious. ZX80, yep, ZX80, ZX81, ZX80 actually come in kit form. I had one a little while ago. They actually come the ZX80 you could build yourself. And then they introduce the ZX81, obviously in a finished format. Yeah, you do need that gun. Yes, definitely a tone in 100%. Hello Lucas, how are you doing? Acile There's Miller, we got Miller in as well. We got Miller in. Who we got in? Uh, yeah, Miller. Gaz is in. Radar's in and me. <laughs> Hello John, how are you doing mate? It's the strap-on VR compatible. What strap-on? What strap-on? It's not over my shoulder, is it? We control all objectives. Halfway there, we have the upper hand. Gaming was a lot more simpler in the old days, wasn't it? That's that's the thing. It's better for it now, obviously, but it was just a lot more simple, wasn't it? Who's that squad leader? Give out them orders. Let's let's fucking play now. We got another hour. Let's 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 hit it hard. Following gas. 
Manic Miner. I know, I know. I miss Jet Set Willy. Although genital jousting is very close, isn't it? <laughs> Where will gaming be in 10 years? It, yeah, it's had a... It's had a bit of a flurry the last few years. I've got a feeling it's just going to slow down. Yeah, like it did before. And then I, and then, and then it'll speed up again, then it'll slow down. I don't think gaming is on this constant upward curve. It very it plateaus every few years and uh which doesn't bother me. You know, I'm quite happy with what we got. I think it's amazing what we got. Gaz, you've got a lovely run, mate. We've got radar over here as well. Exactly, uh, Kodash, yeah. VR needs to happen now. It is happening before your very eyes, literally, but it's not happening in the way that it needs to. The innovations come out of VR. Uh, especially now they've started, they've started sort of like, oh shit, we don't know what to, we don't know what to develop. We, we've run out of ideas. What should we do? Let's just convert old games into VR. They'll suck that up like fucking idiots, you know? Yeah, let's just do that. The game's already made. We only have to brush over it with a VR tool, whatever that is. <laughs> you know, we only have to put it through a VR machine. And suddenly we can resell the same game and they'll fucking suck that up, you know? And it'll just shut them up for a few years while we can fucking, while we go down the pub. That's what's happening with VR at the moment. It's very, uh, it's not good. It's not good at all. Yeah, that'll shut them up. <laughs> We had a room with boxes and made a VR game around that. Nice one, yeah. Exactly, it's insightful, jo uh, John, but it's correct. It's, yeah, it's correct. Uh, bring uh, a few high budget. Yeah, oh yeah, no, we need AAA. Yeah, yeah, we need AAA. And people thought that the, you know, bringing games like Skyrim, uh, and I'm not going to moan about Skyrim, but bringing games like, you know, Skyrim and Fallout even, they're called in that AAA. I don't, I don't agree with that. It's AAA on the PC. They're massive, you know, you know, proper releases. But just running them through a little convert tool. <laughs> I know it's harder than that, but just, just converting them to VR doesn't make that AAA on VR in my mind. You know. Exactly, Snowy. Now, I haven't played it. I've played the demo and I've read all the reviews, yeah. And, it, it, you know, there's, there are games like that on the Oculus, like um, Lone Echo, where you know it's been built by passionate people that want to bring... I mean, Lone Echo. <sighs> Lone Echo is, is VR, actually. Lone Echo is VR. If you can give me some more Lone Echo, I'm in. Don't fucking... Thanks for subbing, mate. Don't just give me old shit that I've already brought before, because uh, it doesn't really do anything for me. Oh! I can't sit in headset for more than a couple of hours at a time. I get fatigue. Are you talking about Elite? Because unless you're hitting at 90 frames, uh, Kodos, um, yeah, that's how it's going to be. That's how it's going to be. Because you're using that on the PC, which isn't really designed fully for it, and it needs a lot of power. In general, okay. It, it, again, it depends on what you're playing, though. If you're playing Star Blood Arena, give me half hour in that and I'm fucked, you know? Elite, I could sit in all day. It's not a problem. Um, you need that 90 frames. You need that 90 frames to make sure that you're not... Um... Yeah, you got the retina distance as well. That, that might be worth doing. But, it, yeah, of course it's normal. You can't just sit in it forever. It's a weird... It's not natural, is it? It's not natural at all. But you do get used to it. Like anything that isn't natural. <laughs> you get used to it. Two hours is a good limit, actually. You're right. Two hours. Yeah. And I think they've based it around two, um, two to three hours of VR gaming at a time. I mean, do you really want to do more than three hours at a time? I don't know. Oh, for God's sake. Three and five, fucking hell. You can't use it, yeah, it's too hot, yeah. Um uh, it shouldn't get hot on me. It shouldn't get hot. Tell you what I've got on mine is um I've rolled it up and I'm gonna die, so I'm gonna show you. 
I've got um I've got a dropped Oculus. I've got the VR cover. Um, see the VR cover? That is lovely. Very, very comfortable. Um, better than the standard one. I don't know if you saw that. I didn't want to drop it. Way better than the standard one. I love it. Very, very soft against your head. I feel like it's not right either. Yeah, my my rift doesn't get hot. I mean, it, there's there's stuff in there. Obviously, electronics. Let's go to Pres de Hills. Um, yeah, there's electronics in there. It will get hot, but it shouldn't get crazy hot. Thank you for joining me, everyone. I do appreciate it. Oh, look, no one wants to go there. <laughs> no one wants to go there at all. Thank you for joining me. Please leave me a little cheeky like. I know they're never popular, the Battlefield 1. I like just sitting here. Free shot burst. Yes, F1. How you doing, mate? I like sitting here playing this game. No, I'm not very good at it. It's cool. We're going to play it on the PlayStation as well uh, next time. I'm even worse on a controller. But it's all fun. It's fun. And uh, we like to have a nice chat, don't we? That's the good thing about these little streams. I get some red spots under my eyes because it gets hot. Wow, no, Arnie, no, absolutely not. Thank you for subbing, mate. Yeah, let's do it, uh, Miller. Let's fucking, let's do it. Yeah, definitely, because, uh, yeah. The GT wet wank death squad. <laughs> it just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? The GT UK wet wank death squad. <laughs> Shouldn't get hot. Yeah, it shouldn't get hot. I can't wait, actually, to get back to VR. I know, I know I'm boring you with my story now about why I'm not playing it. Um, oh, let's get in the aeroplane. That can't go wrong. I need to move my business out, which I'm in the process. I'm going up to my new office this afternoon. As soon as I finish the... Uh... <laughs> no, I'm not reading that out. And then once I've moved out of the office, uh, and I've got my empty office here, I can work to get that. Oh, hello. I can get that done as my proper studio and then you'll be getting a lot more. I'll be going back to VR because I started my channel on VR really, literally started it on VR. Then Elite hit and then I moved into this room and this room um, is just too sunny. It's killed my daily VR. I can't do VR during the day, you just can't do it, it's impossible. Yeah, I've just shown the one on the on the stream there, Matt. Um, my VR cover, very very nice. A bit of suppressive fire there. We have taken objective Charlie. We have taken objective Duff. Return to the combat area. All right, I'm coming back. <laughs> yeah. Phone VR is not VR. It's just not. It's a good try though. Ouch! I seen. Oh shit! <laughs> Wasn't a bad effort in the plane. The planes are hard in Battlefield One. Everything's hard in Battlefield One. <laughs> you like that, John? Everything is hard, and I am being destroyed. I don't mind though. It's all good. Oh my god! Right in the front bottom. We have lost objective Duff. Yeah, I can't profess to be uh, a, 
It casually kills still. Did you see that, Monk? And I took it as well, didn't I? I took it. 50 likes. Really? That's lovely. Thank you very much. You're very supportive of me, and you're so allowing of just letting me play whatever I fancy. I love that. I don't get any hate about it. I don't get any hate about my quality of, of gaming. I do fucking appreciate that. And that, that actually what isn't what I was expecting. As the channel grew, I didn't expect that part of it. I expected to be bombarded with a bit of aggro about oh my god you're such a fucking noob you know uh, but it just hasn't happened and I'm, I do appreciate that and it, 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 it's like a bit like what I was saying in Elite the other day I know I'm no fucking authority in Elite I know that and I've never pretended to be and I do appreciate the fact that you just yeah you're not bothered about the fact that I'm just doing passenger missions or whatever I love that and uh, I do appreciate that Thank you for subbing, mate. Is that what me, you, with no encoders? What the dislikes? Oh, nice. I don't believe that for a second. Let's do some kills, dudes. Let's talk game etiquette for a second. Go on, go on, monk. Give it to me. Give it to me. What's up? What are you, what are you saying, monk? Thank you for subbing, mate. Appreciate that. <coughs> Is it really? I, I'm never worried about kill. Still, we've got a, we've got a war here, haven't we? You know, if you get in, in the immersion, the war's here. You know, if you imagine it in real war. Oh no, I can't kill that bloke. He's yours. No, no, definitely not. Yeah, but I'm reloading. No, 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 no. I'm not going to kill him. It's not fair. Oh, for fuck's sake, just kill him. Get in the fucking car. <laughs> no, kill stealing doesn't uh, doesn't worry me in one bit. Oh no, no, I wouldn't kill him. No. Uh, yes, Harry, all the time, mate. Yeah, I play PlayStation 4 all the time. There's no exclusivity PC gaming here. So, oh, I think you meant to use the ladder. Um, all formats here, mate. It's all good. This is just a gaming channel, not a PC channel or a play, or even a PlayStation 4 channel. There's loads of loads of shit happening here. That's a fairly good description of it, actually. Every time you point to someone, they're fucking... Hello, Aaron. How you doing? <laughs> should be your new strap line. <laughs> Loads of shit going on here. <laughs> oh, you love it. It's a fucking good game, though, isn't it? There's no doubt. You can't. You can't say this ain't a good game. It's awesome. Been up all night. How is it? What you been doing, uh, Aaron? Tell us what you've been doing. You've been up all night. What on earth have you been doing? It better be something really cool. Don't just go like watching a box set. What have you been doing? If it isn't cool, can you make something up that is just so cool? We all go. Fucking hell! No wonder you've been up all night. Make something up. Anything. We have lost objective apples. This better be good. Wet wank marathon, Jocelyn. Yeah, watching a lotto films. Oh, for fuck's sake, Aaron. Who's a lotto anyway? I said it can't be just I've been up watching films. For fuck's sake, I'm not getting anyone. Everyone is getting it. I thought he's gonna say like, oh, I had me, uh, my girlfriend and her sister round or something. You know, just something. You know. And then her mum popped in. And then her sister come in, did the fucking lot of them. 
<laughs> oh god. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, this is all for fuck's sake. <laughs> Maybe you can add to that jizz pot. Yeah, it needs filling. It, it definitely needs filling. <laughs> and then her auntie come round, you know? That's not true, that never happened. Nice one, cuz. That is one way to do it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Are you streaming Friday? Yes, I am. Hello? Hello? Fucking hell, Peekaboo! Did you see that? Hello? Fucking beast. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's fucking... Fucking hit it. Oh. <laughs> that was good. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, no worries, Aaron. It's all good, mate. No one has to donate. It's all good. That was a rush of blood. That was a rush of something. Exactly, Arnie. See, I can, I can do it. I can do it. Oh, oh, we're getting fucked here. We're getting fucked. We have taken objective button. Choppy's fucking it. I, I, I sort of at that point. I thought it was a good idea to put my gun away and get a small shovel out. <laughs> no, Snowy, that's that's too far, isn't it? Isn't it? That's got to be too far. That surely. Little shit, dropping bombs on the boys. This is PC, MJ, but yes, I do use the... Well, I just use the one that come with a pro. Yeah, just the standard. Yeah. We are losing objective butler. The map really shits me up the wall. Oh, this map. Yeah, it is a good map. Yeah, it is a good map. Oh, I can't wait for the new maps. The one called London Calling, which is obviously based around London. Oh, that's just captured me straight away. Fucking can't we wait for that. Objective Duff. There's five new maps. I think it's in about three weeks. Yeah, Codus, it's an awesome game. It is. It's one I think that you can. You have to practice to be good at it. I'm obviously not practicing. That's why I'm not that good at it. it doesn't affect my enjoyment of the game. Uh, but it's one that you can generally just leave in your collection and just just have a blast on it. You know. Yeah, no worries, Harry. Next time I'm on. Uh, next time I fire up the old PlayStation 4. What are you into, Harry? Is it uh, Battlefield One or? Yeah, this can just sit in your collection, and uh, every now and again you'll go, should we have a blast on Battlefield 1? It's awesome. And when I concentrate, I'm not that bad at it. I can, I can do it. It's just like anything. It needs utter concentration. <laughs> I didn't get any of them. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh! <laughs> yeah, Harry, it's great, isn't it? It's great. And I played it. I mean, I was in the beta. I was in the alpha. I've been playing it since it came out. And then I just dropped it. And uh, I think I dropped it for Elite, actually. I dropped, I dropped all my games for Elite Dangerous uh, for about a year. Literally for about a year. And then... Um, I'm back, I'm back, just playing them all, you know, and I'm still playing Elite, Elite is still there, I only streamed it a couple of days ago, I'll be streaming, hopefully, I'll be streaming Elite tomorrow, depending on what time the beta is out, um, yeah, I'll hopefully be doing it tomorrow, I'm not gonna, I'm, because I'm not on authority in Elite, right, I'm not gonna go through every single patch now, it's not gonna be that type of stream, I want to see the Chieftain, 
and I want to see the planetary um, improvements for the graphics. That, that's it. And then I probably won't even play the beta. Um, I don't want to grind something out that's just going to be wiped. I'll get back to unlocking um, unlocking Palin, I think. Uh, Elite has pissed me off. Really, Aaron? Really? Oh, okay. That's um, Aaron, are you in Discord? I'm sure you are. Are you in Discord? Because there's every bit of help that you need. Suzuki, for example, uh, who's in the chat, I don't know if he's here now, he'd basically given up with, with Elite on the Xbox. He, he come in and he just went, um, no patch notes straight yet. Um, he just basically said, no, nah, I'm done with it. It's not my sort of game. Where, you know, there was a few people in Discord that helped him through and said, no, why don't you try this? Why don't you try that? All of a sudden, he's in there posting pictures in the gallery. I'm loving it. I'm doing it. And it's just so nice. So nice. Is there anyone else in there? So yeah, if you want any help, uh, the Discord is awesome, you know. Oh, the engine sound, yeah. Now, I'm not normally one for like, oh, I must have that ship. I'm like, well, you know, the, all, the, all the ships are cool, aren't they? All the ships are cool. But the Chieftain is one where I've sort of gone, I want that ship. I fucking love the, the way it looks, the way it sounds. <laughs> and I really want the Chieftain, I really do. So, um... I don't know how much it's going to cost. Obviously, I can get hold of it in the beta. I've got 130 million credits. Hopefully, that's enough um, to get the Chieftain as soon as it comes out. I'll sell the Vulture. The Chieftain will be my absolute uh, killing machine. Hopefully, I'm going to learn how to engineer it and all the rest of it. Yeah, I can't wait. Yes, got him. Look at that, the noises in this game, it's just fantastic, it really is. It really is awesome. Oh, he's one of me. Don't shoot your own fucking people. We control all objectives. Oh, okay, over 80 minutes. Well, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, nice, yeah. Obviously, there's bits to engineer. I'm not going to go fix weapons on that, because I'm no good at fix weapons. I'm going to go gimbal. But yeah, definitely uh, quite into that. Yeah, quite into that. Fucking hell, kill assist my arse. But yeah, I, w I certainly won't be playing much of the beater, I don't think. Um, it feels a bit weird to be grinding in something that you it's just going to get deleted basically. Uh, I want to see, uh, I'm not really interested in the engineering thing yet because I haven't touched engineering on, as a whole. I want to do mi wing missions. Me and Max can't wait to do wing missions, that's just going to be awesome for us. Um, uh, we had a go last night, he, lo he loves playing it, Max loves playing it. There's someone here. <laughs> and I haven't fucking teabagged yet, have I? Oh yeah, oh you're fucking loving that on a death game, aren't you? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Um, we played last night actually, and uh, we both landed on a planet. Just got the SRVs out, and just just had fun with it. I love playing with with my boy um, on a beat. He's nine, and he's fucking awesome on it, you know. No, no gaming for me tonight. I must have a night off tonight. I'm just spending so much time out here, so much time. Oh, I think there's. Oh, I get a dislike every every single stream, usually a, an hour before it starts. But I'm not bothered about that. That's fine. I think there's a few more dislikes today. But again, it happens. It happens. I'm having a bit of a roundabout thing with um with subs at the moment. Um, I think I'm losing that subs where I'm trying like other games. Like so I'm, I might be losing the people. Um, Losing the elite guys basically because I'm not doing much elite and the, the diehards, you know. Um, oh, nice. But then I'm gaining from other games like PUBG and uh, you know uh, racing. It's all good. It's all good. It's all roundabouts with. Um... Oh shit. It's all roundabouts with 
YouTube, especially when you're not, if you're a variety channel, you're already making the job so much harder. Um, but I can only be a variety channel. I couldn't think of nothing worse than just being an elite streamer. No way. No way. Or even um, a space sim. I mean, don't get me wrong, people make huge channels out of it. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying it's not my thing um, to only play one genre game or even one game. I find that that's terrible to me. I couldn't do it. So the fact that you you know people like might might come in now and think oh he's he, well we've got a Battlefield Four stream a Battlefield One streamer yeah I'll have a bit of that next minute I'll do three streams of pub um, or or I get on the old Gran Turismo and they suddenly think this isn't what I signed up for I'm going so you get this this constant rotation um, of, of subs it's all good it's fine. Yes, Mark. Oh, they're lovely. They're lovely sponsors. Bloody hell. The, the support I get from the sponsors is unbelievable. That's what I was saying earlier about just... I don't want to use the word allowing because that sounds pedantic, but allowing me just to play whatever... You know, you're happy. I, I never really... I might get moaned at jokingly, but you don't really moan and say, look, I might be funny, but I don't want to play that. There's a few of you that go, oh, no, I don't, I don't play that, so I'm not tuning in. That's good, you know? Got a feeling some dislikes last night because it wasn't GT. Yes, Atonin, yes, you're totally right, yeah. I've built up something on a Tuesday evening. But then again, I think it was self-explanatory aside of why I wasn't playing it, let alone the, the thing. PlayStation Network was down, so, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, one more. <coughs> they allow it, sound like you're my age. Yeah, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. I didn't mean it in a sort of... Oh, please let... I didn't mean that, because I'll just play what I want regardless. But at the same time, obviously I've got you in mind, because I'm creating a channel, you know? Yeah, we didn't do too bad. Got to be top... Oh, look at that, top team. And look at me. I'm like a fucking... Look, look at me. Yeah, definitely one more, Jamie. Have you not got this, Jamie? I know you don't like playing it, but I play COD 90% of the time. But I love people uh, watching people play other games. Yeah, I don't really like COD. I'm gonna, I'll give the next one a try. I gave this one a try. I gave it a fair try. Um, who'd ever become a BT engineer? Pissing that I'll start. Stop it! I feel sorry for you now. <laughs> we shall allow you to kiss our feet, old man. <laughs> You got the origin thing because you said about it. Well, install Battle for One. I don't think you get the, all the DLC, um, but you can play on the base maps. You should give it a try, Jamie. It's proper fun, and obviously, I think you'd be good at it because of the old first-person shooter. You had a proper snowstorm. It's raining out there. I tell you what, all over Christmas when everyone else was saying uh, about snow, we dodged it. I haven't seen any snow. Um, I'm sort of happy and pissed off about that all at the same time. Because I like a bit of snow, and I'd love I'd love nothing more than sitting here streaming in the snow. Yeah, no, you're totally right, Jamie. In fact, I'm due um, a one last Battlefield 4 stream, which I'm going to do soon before I uninstall it. It is time to kiss it goodbye. I love, love, love. Um, yeah, I know, Mark. I don't know what happened there. It wasn't very good of YouTube to do that, was it? Because people could get pissed off for that and think that it's something that I've done. You know, fucking hell, YouTube. Um... I absolutely adore um, Battlefield 4. I'm due one more stream on it. It's time to go. It's not a game I play regularly. I need to uninstall it, get rid of it, um, move on to newer games. But I'm going to do one last farewell Battlefield 4 stream. I can't wait, actually. I just need to work out. I want to do it for quite a while. I want to do like a four-hour stream. Um, blame YouTube. Always blame YouTube. I love YouTube. I've got no problem with YouTube. Oh, I'm going to leave YouTube and do a video on YouTube about leaving YouTube. No, it's just I love it. It's totally fine for me. It suits what I want to do. Now, at the moment, um, take an objective credit. at the moment, I'm a streamer, aren't I? Well, I don't always want to be a streamer. I want to do videos as well. So I want to keep the streaming going. And if I can, I won't stop any streaming slots because I enjoy it. And I, and I hope that you enjoy coming in. Um, but I do want to put more videos together, and in the new studio, I will be able to do that. 100% I'll be able to do it. We have taken objective duff. So, uh, YouTube suits me. If I was just 100% streaming, you know, you could go to Twitch or whatever, but, yeah. Tomorrow night you'll be a screamer. Oh, God. Hello, Panzer. How you doing? 
Panzer's another one from the OG days that where we used to play Battlefield. Fuck. Yes, tomorrow night, cock munching. Um, genital jousting, it's called, the game. It's not cock munching, that's, that's just slang for it. We do, um, as you can see in the chat, they're all green. All, all the green people are all sponsors. And as part of uh, the sponsor little package that I put together, um, you get um, you get a stream every single month just to the sponsors. So it's on YouTube like this, but only the sponsors can see it. It's nice and quiet. It's, it's awesome. I really enjoy it. Uh, and on that stream, we uh, we do a give we do a giveaway um, of two. Oh, for fuck's sake. Two £10 vouchers every single month. Two, uh, I put a little message out actually saying uh, it's going up to £20 a month. Do you want me to um, do t two £10 or one twenty? And I think most people said um, two tens, and then you get two winners every month then, which is cool. Um, so yeah, if you are thinking of sponsoring, that's what we put together. Uh, <laughs> and this month, the game, on the sponsor stream, I try and get people to go... I try and get people involved, unless it's VR horror and then you just watch me suffer, which is fine. Um, but last month we did Gang Beast on PlayStation 4. This month we're going over to PC on a game very similar to Gang Beast that's called Genital Jousting. You've probably seen it on Steam. It's fucking mental. It's big rubber cocks battling each other. They've got balls, they've got a bum, and you have to brush their teeth. It's ridiculous. It's so bad. We have to try it. Um, if you have got it, obviously you're going to be in the chat. It's going to be one of them streams. It, mental. Any hand jobs in that giveaway? Aaron, there isn't, mate. Um, but two sponsors will at least double their investment each month. So that's good. That's good. And the more sponsors we, we get, the, the more giveaways I'll do anyway. I've got another little giveaway um, just to the sponsors as well, which I'm just waiting to do a video on. It's all cool. Hopefully there's it's worth you doing, you know. And I do appreciate your support. You know I do. Because there's no ad revenue for me. I don't really, you know, because I swear that's the problem. Because I swear. I get demonetized all the time. You can't say, you can't say cock jostling or cock munching or arse fiddler or anything, you know, in without getting demonetized. You know, you just can't, you just can't say it. So I never get monetized on anything I do. So it is about the sponsors. Keep the tenor, just come and hold this brolly for me. Yeah, no, that, yeah, I didn't mean it in that way. I just meant, you know, in general, just words you can't say without getting demonetized. <laughs> or indeed imprisoned. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting stream, and, and not one I'm sure I'm going to put up after it's been... <laughs> I don't think it's going to be one that we put up on the internet. I think it's going to be a, literally... Ask Tickler. Yeah, 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 definitely. Anything like that. Other holes are available. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, should we move on? Upload it to Schwing's account. Yes, yes, definitely. I've already been banned on one YouTube once. Uh, you know, we could do it again, couldn't we? Did you hear the bullets falling on the wood that I'm laying on? Unbelievable. <laughs> you want to see genital jousting? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. My bum is burning, I don't know why she said ring sting. I replied back, how the hell would he know? Ring sting! <laughs> Fucking hell, Mark. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm going to set up a command actually so you can do explanation, uh, explanation sponsor and then it will come with the actual um, link. I'm going to do that. 
We have taken objective George. Oh, I've never fucking heard you ever say a fucking swear word. <laughs> Swearing's alright, YouTube doesn't mind it. They're not gonna ban you for swearing, they just don't monetize your videos, that's cool. I have tried to behave myself and uh, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I end up being so stifled that I'm not me, you know what I mean? You know, I swear, it's just the way, it's just, it's just me, you know, it's just, it's just what it is. And you could never come on YouTube and just pretend to be someone else, you have to be yourself, especially if you're streaming as much as I am, you'd suss me out, wouldn't you, you know? What I am, I am, so I can't really pretend to be anything else. I'm going to A, you lads, I'm going to A. If you like Paul Logan, you can get away with talking about it. We... Hello, you fucker. No. Y YouTube isn't as bad as people make out about this freedom of speech thing. You can't, oh, you can't say nothing. You can say whatever you want. You just won't be able to put adverts on your video. It's quite simple. So that's my choice, isn't it? Luckily, I've got the sponsors, which make, uh, you know, which help me somewhat. Oh, I don't make any money out of adverts. It's just a choice, isn't it, really? It's a silly choice. I should just clean my act up and then I'll be able to monetize everything. Oh, I'm just a fucking killing machine, mate. Hello Donkey, yes I do have a schedule mate, yeah I stream every single weekday morning at 10 o'clock in the morning, so Monday to Friday I am here every single day at um, 10 o'clock in the morning for around 2 hours, this is UK time by the way, and then um, I stream 3 evenings a week, Tuesday, Friday and Sunday, around 8, 8.30 UK time, um, so yeah, I, there's a lot of streaming going on, I'm always on here. Who's stabbing me? I fucking heard that to my right. Oh my god. <laughs> Police think they're still at large. Oh, don't you start as well, Matt. Fucking hell. As the office and studio, I'm still doing the office, so the new office. I'm going up there when I finish here, actually. I'm going up there to do some more work and more painting. Um, that's going well. Couple of weeks, I reckon. I reckon three weeks, and the office will be away from home, and that office will be up and running. That's cool. And then another week to get my new studio up and running. Then a couple of days to move everything in. You might be about streams for a couple of days, maybe, just while I set everything up. Um... <laughs> no, Aaron, no. Uh, yeah, and then, um, and then that's it. I'll be up and running on. I'll be able to start, but you'll, you'll see immediately more VR content, more little videos. I'll have more time to do stuff like, say for example, you know the funny bits we've been happening in um, in PUBG recently. You know, from a YouTube perspective, it you know, I should be putting them in little snippet videos. People love snippet videos, toilet videos, videos three minutes long to watch on the toilet. People love them, and I just all that's on my channel is three hour long stream so I know I'm in a way I'm sort of damaging myself this is talking shop now um, who's booked in for PUBG on Sunday John with now um, who's is there he needs to check his laptop um, we've got Eric who was in the chat last night he's a sponsor and we've got Dazza as well so yeah if you go to my channel all that's there is two hour plus streams now a lot of people on the toilet don't want to watch them, uh, so they, they just disregard them, you know? Uh, three minute videos, people love them, especially if they're also all the funny bits, they end up subbing, watching more funny videos, and again, it, it creates growth on the channel. I've stifled my own channel a little bit by just doing really long streams, um, but it's all, it's all gonna come around, it's all fine. The new studio will help me so much, getting the business away from home, I don't realise, I mean, I've been doing the business for 16 years now, two, year, two and a half years of that has been from home, 
and one part of it is a dream working from home literally a dream another part of it is like for fuck's sake i'm never away from work i'm always you know it's there now you know it just it's all right working from home would i do it again probably not probably not it, it, you know it's a hard one it's a hard one so getting the business away from home is going to make me more pr productive on this business which i consider my business you know is youtube is is definitely more than a hobby as you know for me I'm trying to make it into something i don't know when i don't know where i don't know how but I'm trying my best at it um but having the business from home can be can be hard Oh fucking hell, I was just about to pick up the big boy. <clears throat> so I'm targeting people, yeah, you know what I meant. Um, just toilet videos, three minute funny videos, you watch, you subscribe at the end, you turn it off. Next time I'm live, they might come in, you know. Um, what people don't understand, if you don't have a working schedule, it actually just means you're always working. I'm always working, Miklos. I'll finish here, I'll go up the, uh, I'll go up my office and do some painting, then I'll come back, then I'll yeah, go to work, then I'll probably be out here setting it up for tomorrow, trying out a game. I'm always doing it, you know? Um, well, I said I needed to get in touch with my feminine side, so I crashed the car, burnt the dinner, ignored all, leaving for no apparent reason. <laughs> Definitely hard when someone streams every day, 10 a.m. without a fail, 100%. I know, I know. I do notice that there's a lot of productivity when I stop streaming or I miss a stream. I love being... It's going to sound such bullshit. And you know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going to say. I don't even have to say it. Oh, fucking hell. It's not that. Um, I love being part of your day somewhat. Some of you have me on in the background. Some watch the stream. Some join in with the stream. Some just come in and leave a like. You know, they say... They say... Whoever they are, they say... You know, the true... YouTube channel is about consistency. That's why I've dedicated every single two hours a day at, at 10 o'clock every single day. Now, them streams might get a little bit shorter because they were never actually planned for two hours. It was always meant to be a cheeky stream in the morning, probably around an hour. That might go back. If I've got videos to create, it might be, look, I'm going to stream for an hour, then I'm going to get on and, and play and record a, a video, you know? But being part of your morning, for example, it is, it is a privilege, honestly. It's fucking awesome. It is awesome. And I do mean that as well. You can take it as insincere if you want. Oh, hello. Hello. Jason's kicking off. Oh, oh, he's finally killing someone. Got an itchy nose, I'll tell you that now. You're going. You're going down, fella. Oh, someone's already got him. Let's we gas the fuckers the out. Just checked, I've been here now more than half a year. Awesome, Miklos, awesome. Never seen you get up to get a drink. Do you drink from the jizz pot? I get up and make a tea. Um, I do. I'm trying not to, actually, because, like, the other day, for example, not yesterday, I think it was the um, Sunday stream, got up to about 80, 80 people, I think, watching PUBG, and I was like, right, I really fancy a couple more. Um, I'm going to go and get a drink. Come back, and obviously, Peter, obviously, hand. regulars aren't going to stick around while I go and make a cup of tea, are they? I mean, it's just obvious. Uh, come back, and I think it went down to a 50, and then it never it never gained momentum Taking again. So I'm trying not to go and get a drink. I'm trying not to. Because it doesn't really work. You have to leave an empty chair, and just, you know, it's just part of the job, I suppose. You can't really just fuck off and leave a stream, you know? <clears throat> I see your face more often than any other. It's becoming worrying. Well, you know, that's a privilege, mate. We have lost objective there. For you more than me. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> and I am looking forward to a meet up. There's going to be a smaller meet up in London in f in a couple of weeks actually at the PC Gamer show. Um, but we're going to have a big meet up in Birmingham at G EGX, uh, which is going to be fucking awesome. The show itself is awesome. You gamers will love it. Absolutely love it. You know, just a whole weekend of just talking, we are losing talking games. Um, yeah, I know, Eki, but then I'll need a piss, won't I, you know? <laughs> People won't notice. Oh, for fuck's sake, John. What's the most you've had in a stream? I think it was 300. Um, I've we had 300 in. I can't remember what that was. Shit, what was it? 
I think it was Gran Turismo when it first came out. I think I had over 300 in here. Um, and I've had quite a lot on Star Citizen as well. That was a couple of hundred. Um, averaging about 50, which is, you know, uh, is awesome. I think it was GT when it come out. Um, yeah, because of, of the 10 o'clock stream. I was lucky enough to be streaming it the day it come out and obviously people are checking out on YouTube while they're at work or whatever when they can't play wondering what it's like so you just we you just a catch a little you know just a, a breeze there and it does help you out a little bit yeah Mikos definitely and with Elite as well uh, we've had um, we've not recently obviously but when when I was playing a lot of Elite it wouldn't be unusual to get up to sort of 90 to 100. That doesn't happen anymore because I'm not a regular elite guy, but it's all cool. It is, Matt. For some reason, I don't seem to be hitting that sweet spot, the sweet spot of PUBG. Um, I mean, it was up to about 60, 70 last night, which is lovely. Um, I don't seem to be seeing what I see on other streams of um, PUBG when they get 200, 300. Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I'm new, but I like your streams already. Thank you very much, Aaron. Thank you. Yeah, if you like filth. I don't promote the Discord enough, actually. Um, again, it's a bit like Gran Turismo. Do you remember when I first started Gran Turismo? I never, ever mentioned the Discord because I was so protective of what, of what it was. Um, I didn't want just anyone coming in you know we you know and i suppose it's a bit it's a bit like that with PUBG. i don't know who they are i don't know who the watchers are i don't know whether they want to come to discord i don't know whether they'd be a pain in the ass in discord once i settle down then i'll start promoting it again it is uh, miklos yes yeah yeah definitely yeah it's a great thing uh, you know it's 100 percent helped the channel you know uh get a, a you know I don't mean this word like a following you know what I mean it, it's it's built up it's helped build the community you can only do so much community building and chatting together on on the stream in discord you can do it in private chat you can do it in the room chat so it stays on the topic it's just fucking awesome discord is amazing amazing <laughs> I want to know a new filthy word. <laughs> it's not potatoing, is it? You're mine. You're not mine. You're not mine. <laughs> My ex. Oh, God. Yeah, not potato. No. That was you, Jamie, that introduced the whole potato thing. What WTF, Jamie? W, fucking T, and an F. Especially the description. Oh baby, strap a potato to your, your, your knob tonight and let's do it. I mean, no wonder I'm getting demonetized. But, you know, what, what, what even is that? What is that? Who would say that? Oh, this isn't enough for me. I need a potato. You know, there's loads of things around the house. You know, rolling pin, whatever. Why a potato? I just don't get it. Just don't get it. Well, I'm just thinking potato or rolling pin, Coda, so I know, well, what would you rather have? I know what you'd rather have, but, you know, whatever. We have taken objective duff. Let's not discriminate, I mean... I'm just sort of hiding here, aren't I? I must admit, though, the thing that I'm, uh, you're potatoing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> i tell you what I am enjoying, though, and I do 100% mean it, and I'm looking forward to it, is the PUBG with friends nights, you know. I want to play it on my own. I want to. During the week, I play it on my own because I want to get better. I want to, I like streaming like this, you know. 
Uh, but on a Sunday, it's just perfect. It's a Sunday night, last gaming session of the week, uh, the weekend. It's fucking awesome. I don't even care if ten people watch. I, you know, as long as you regulars are there, uh, and we're you know introducing new voices to you, so you know in chat who they are. I fucking love it, and I will do it as long as as long as people watch, as people ask to join in. I'll just do that forever. I tell you. It's one of my favourite things. It really, really is. Let's get on this crazy weapon. This is this is meant for inventory uh, air, but we'll we'll try it. We'll try it. And like Thursdays, for example, um, last Thursday I streamed PUBG, I think it was about four and a half hours, wasn't it? Fucking loved it. Absolutely loved it. You're not really meant to get infantry with that, but it's so fucking brutal. As long as no one spots you, it's awesome. Oh my god, where did that come from? We have taken objective. <laughs> yeah, definitely codes. I'm building myself up for a big disappointment, PC gamer. <laughs> what? What? I don't, I don't really get that. What angle are you coming from? But yeah, the community that uh, I've been lucky enough, and I do mean that, lucky enough to build up, is fucking awesome, you know? And that's why, in a way, I'm glad I've had... You know, you know, you get some YouTuber channels that just blow up. You can't... It's very difficult to keep the community together if you blow up very, very quickly. And I'm glad that uh, I am glad that the way that it's just growing nice and steadily. We're getting new people joining every day. Um, there's always someone joining the, dis the Discord. Uh, not many people leaving it, which is nice. That's a good sign. It's a good sign for the Discord. Um, but yeah, it's, it's great. Love it. The best thing I've ever done. Oh no, that's uh, that's Miller. Seventeen. Exactly. We should bring a potato. We should just bring a. Someone should bring a potato. But yeah, this is the best thing I've ever done. Ever. I could just hope that I can turn it into. I mean, I'm. I'm. You know, I always wear my heart on my sleeve and just tell you what I'm thinking. But hopefully, I can build it into something. That's what I'm hoping. I invest so much time into it. It's crazy, 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 crazy. You know, it's got to be a passion. You know, you know when something's a passion, and you just invest everything in it with no return. Um, you know, expected. It's just fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, Mark never leaves home without a King Edward or two as well, two, in case he breaks the first one. Well, your real friends have just cut. Oh my god, second best all the time, isn't it? All the time. Put one of my special fags in there. Genital joust. That's tomorrow, isn't it? I can't wait, actually. I better have a practice on that this afternoon. Yeah. We have lost objective, Edward. Throw some ammo. Yes. No, I haven't. I'm not. I'm not. Um. I'm not support. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. My bad. I haven't been doing much of that, have I, Kimo? You're fucking totally right. I just thought I was on the wrong class. I'm so sorry. I normally do quite a bit of that because it's free. It's free points, isn't it? Stream it so I can figure out how to play. No, no, I want the stream to be, uh, I want the first stream to be that. <clears throat> it's time to change guns, I think. 
In fact, let's change class. We'll probably have one more. Let's, let's change class. Let's go back to the old uh, mortar. I love the mortar. We have lost objective Charlie. Let's go back to that one. No, hang on, it was this one, wasn't it? Let's have a look. No, it was this one, yeah. That's it. But let's change guns. Let's try that one. We have taken objective Duff. Give us a ban, please. What does that mean? Oh hello, that's quite nice. And I've got the mortar. Awesome. Love the mortar. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't even see him in. What did he say? View deleted message. Let's have a look. He said... Oh, didn't say anything, did he? I, oh, he's spamming. Oh, I'm coming in and just tapping the keyboard with me cock. Fucking hell. Some Russian stuff. What it's your here. We have taken objective Charlie. See what I mean? It's not a bad little tool, is it? Can't get up. Oh shit, I'm trapped in the corner. Quick panic, where's my map button? Right, one more. Definitely one more, and then that's it. I'm hungry as well. Neville Knights, let's go there. Yeah, I'm hungry as well, which is cool. I know, three hours last night, it's, that's what I said about that game, PUBG in particular, anything anything a bit like this, you know, where there's a, like a cycle and you start again and there's this sort of enjoyable cycle of the game, but PUBG in particular, three hours went past like that, I wasn't, the thing is though, I wasn't ready to stop, I reckon I could easily do a six hour session on PUBG and not even be fatigued or fed up with the game, it's got two maps, it's the same objective every single time. The weapons are actually quite samey when you think about it. Um, the graphics are not amazing. Uh, what the fuck? But it's got something, isn't it? And sometimes games just games just touch on something. Um, I fucking love PUBG. I love it. And the funny thing is, I, I had it ages ago. I bought it ages ago. Um, actually, not ages ago. No, that's a, that's a lie. Not ages ago. I bought it when I come back from EGX in September of last year. I played it. I played it once, maybe twice. Didn't really like it. Um, yeah, I d didn't really like it. But there's been a lot of updates. For a start, you couldn't even jump over a wall. You know what I mean? What? And I was just like, oh, this this is not very good. Um, and I gave it a chance. Then I started to enjoy it. And then other people started purchasing it. And all of a sudden, it was like, fucking hell! Actually, this is really good. This is really good. Uh, it's a game I'm interested in. Uh, I'm interested in seeing where they take, you know? Like I said before, the Battle Royale uh, thing isn't new, but they, they've made it fashionable. Nothing's new these days, it just needs something, someone to revive it, doesn't it? And I'm just wondering, um, like, it's already started sp spawning spin-offs, and, you know, uh, Fortnite uh, probably was developed at the same time, but it feels like it come out because of PUBG. Um, I've already been offered two little indie games that are um, exactly the same, comp uh, you know, um, the same idea. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if PUBG is going to stay PUBG, or whether they're going to keep innovating, or whether they'll just go, let's bring out, let's keep the keep the innovation stuff for the next game. 
let's do a sequel and, and be start being greedy and put it into PUBG 2. I don't know. I, I'm interested in where they're going to go with it. I'm hoping that we, you know, it's constantly updated. We definitely need more maps, 100%, you know. Zombie mode, yeah. <coughs> Took on squads, hoping to bump into you and kill you all. Didn't work. Oh, a nice one, Smurfing, yeah. Have you heard of standout speakers? Standout speakers? Standout speakers? No, no. They said they're not interested in making a PUBG 2, we just keep updating it. Weather, it did have weather, um, Codus, and they took it out. Yeah, exactly, Matt, yeah. No, I'm quite happy. There's games that, there's, it's funny actually, with me, I'm, I'm, I can be, you know, really judgmental of games, like Skyrim, you know, I've judged it to, an in, to within an inch of its life. Other games, I allow a sort of free pass. Gran Turismo, just pu through pure nostalgia, I've allowed up till now a total free pass, uh, and it's lacking content, and all the holes in it. Star Citizen, everyone moans, I don't care, I don't care, I'm happy to go with the ride on Star Citizen, it doesn't it doesn't affect my life, I spent 60 quid on it, and every now and again, you know, I have a bit of fun with it. PUBG, I think, is another one of them games, I don't, I'm just happy to go with it, it didn't cost a lot of money, I'm not going to complain about the game, it's just, it's just fun, you know, some games come in, like Skyrim, that's already been sold on so many different platforms, so many different versions, want to sell you a VR version for 50 quid, that does nothing to it, um, doesn't do anything for the genre, and, so, and then, yeah, I'm quite, you know, quite opinionated on them sort of things but some games just get a free pass on me I don't know why I don't know why yeah let's join Raider let's join Raider in a bit of a bit of this <laughs> okay you can play a set of course in VR yes Murphin I'm keeping all I, actually I'm keeping all of my VR content um Certainly during the day, anyway. Just on hold until I get in my new studio, and then I can do VR any time of the day. It will be permanently set up. It will be permanently set up. Yes, yeah, yeah. You're right, actually. Um, yes, 100%. You're right, coders. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, hackers are an issue that will affect the game if it isn't sorted out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you're totally right, Codus. That was another way of looking at it because I've I've been done on stream and I buy a hacker. It was a bit like fucking hell. How did he get me from there? You know, I'd never understood. Um, I've never understood hacking in a, in a game. Oh my god, it's it's a bit weird, isn't it? As a human trait, or as even as a gamer trait, it's a bit weird, isn't it? What is it about? What is it just simply about coming first? Is that what it is? Yeah, they are. Yeah, you're totally right, Miller. Yeah, I mean, Battlefield 4 now. Where where DICE has left Battlefield 4, you go and play Battlefield 4 now, it's full of hackers. It's fucking shit, you know? Um, this isn't too bad, actually. But why... Yeah, there's probably people using aimbots in this match. Yeah, I don't get it. I, don't, I can't grasp it. I know, obviously, to win. But is that, is that it? Is that what it's about? Because it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Yeah, it's not a win though, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's not a win. And you can almost see where developers start to think, oh, okay, if people are willing to go to lengths to cheat, um, are they willing to go to lengths if we give them a better gun? Are they willing to pay to actually win? And that's where all this... Pay I'm sure that's where the roots of this sort of pay-to-win mentality come in. Because people want to win at any given cost, don't they? But as a character special ability, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't even class myself as competitive. I think, I think maybe you'd agree with that. I'm not competitive, otherwise I'd be just so pissed off of losing all the time. Competitive, I, I'm, I want to win, but only for me, just to improve things. I'm not bothered about beating you, or that doesn't really. It's never bothered me. It really hasn't. Haven't seen many horse wankers, no, no. 
Yeah, put them all on the same server. Fucking hell, that'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Is that? I think it's actually quite refreshing. Once you once you lose that sort of uh, absolute desire just to win and beat someone, you can actually just end up then relaxing and enjoying it, like I do with games. The fact that I don't win all the time really doesn't bother me. It doesn't. It really doesn't. So I could just get on and enjoy the game for what it's meant to be. Oh shit! Shit out! I bet you're up there, aren't you? <laughs> Open the shutter and the fucking <laughs> the side of the house fell down. Is that coincidence or was that shutter holding it up? That's what I want to know. <laughs> uh, by a guy shooting behind me as I was tactically rude. Yeah, yeah. People using lag switches. I never heard of that, Mark. Yeah, 100,000 a week. Yes, yeah, yeah. And why not as well? But then what's the deterrent? They just open up a new Steam account and just get straight in there, wouldn't they? And they will do it as well. They will keep coming back. This is this is what this is the thing about cheaters. It's weird, isn't it? I wonder how that mentality like follows you around in your normal every everyday life. It's a bit weird, isn't it? This this cheating to just beat other human beings and literally know that you're not actually winning you are tricking everyone so what about when you turn your PC off and you go to work or you go out with your mate you you know what I mean I know it's only a game but the tricking thing it, uh, does that portray across to the rest of your personality it's a weird one isn't it can you switch it off and just go right okay yeah I'm, I'm back to being a nice human being can you can you box that in to just being a gamer knowing that you're sweet or however that it works you're sweeping something over the screen and just absolutely murdering everyone just, I mean how long can you that I should imagine the buzz when you first do it that cheeky little thing of when you first do it could be quite funny but how long can you keep up that evil laugh <laughs> day after day after day cheating do you, do you just constantly sit there going <laughs> all day, you know? Exactly, you become a mass murderer. What you do is screw your connection to the game, but uh, the one using the switch was able to move around. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry, got you. Yes, Miklos, you've you've got it there. Yeah, most of the cheaters are kids, um, so they don't know better. Yeah, and they just think it's funny, don't they? Um, and, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, can man, you'll never ever improve, would you? Yeah, yeah, you'll definitely, you'll never improve. Yeah, it's a weird one. What's the fun of hacking the game and having auto aim? Totally don't understand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't, I don't get it. I could maybe see. You have a few friends round. The first time you do it, I should imagine actually. Yeah, I agree. Would be, would be quite funny. Maybe. What about the second time when you're on your own? And uh, it's not as funny, is it? Surely, it's not as funny. And then you sit down every every gaming session and it just becomes your gaming session. Yeah, it does mean everything, but if you haven't done it properly, you haven't earned it, have you? You haven't earned it. Look at Radar up there, 12 and 3, nice one. Kel, 7 and 3, me, 4 and 10. Matty's in, 3 and 10, nice one. Hello, Darren. No, there won't be any today, I'm afraid. This is the last stream of the day. I'm going to finish this match and I've got to go and work. I'm uh, going to do some painting this afternoon. You know my stream schedule, don't you, Darren? Do you know my scheme, stream schedule? <laughs> Matt, yeah, yeah. See, I love chatting to you. The things you come up with, you lot. Yeah, you're totally right. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
I do, but I barely know my own schedule. I stream every single morning, so every single morning, UK time, 10 in the morning, I will be here without fail. It's going to be a bloody good reason for me not to be sitting there playing games every single day, every single weekday, 10 o'clock in the morning for about, at, let's say, at least an hour, probably two hours. Um, and then I stream on a Tuesday, Friday and Sunday evening. So half the week I'm streaming twice a day, about seven, about six hours a day. Um, so yeah, I'm always here every single day apart from Saturday. Um, I'm here doing something. Saturday is off. Spy versus Spy, I love it. Um, PC updated, eight gig RAM, six terabyte, and no boom boom. Nice one, Dazza. I'm so pleased for you. I love it when people like jump on board a new platform, or you know, there's quite a few people um, actually getting PCs now, which I love because I, you know, I can confidently, hand on heart, recommend it because you're going to love it. You're going to love PC gaming, and your gaming will never be the same again. Once you go there, once you go there, your, your, your gaming will never be the same. Outside of PC gaming, I promise you. Oh my good god. Yeah, I, I mean, I started that, didn't I? I started doing uh, retro streams where I played, <laughs> I played Jet Set Willy. Uh, I played River Raid, and I want to get back to that. Um, yeah, I want to get back to that. Don't worry, it's all coming. I've got massive plans. Once I get in my new studio, it's almost like I'm a bit on. Um, it just it, things are a bit on hold at the moment. You know, you had it, Codus, when you was decorating your house. I have got so much on my plate at the moment. It's fucking unreal. It really is unreal, actually. Sometimes I, hello. I lay there in bed. You know what it's like when you've got a lot on you, and you, you can't sleep or whatever. And it's like fucking hell. Yeah, not only have you got the feeling of limbo, you've got the feeling of even if I work every single day, all day, every day for a week, I'm still I'm still going to be behind. You know what I mean? <laughs> Snag your work. Yeah, you might have to Suzuki, but it's fine. I, I am a worker. One, I've always had this skill, and I'm not blowing my own trumpet. I've tried. Trust me. <laughs> I've always had this skill, which is why I can do what I do here and still get things done. I can do a day's work in half a day. I'm a bloody good worker. I always have been. No, I've always been a good worker. That is my... Everyone's got a thing, haven't they? You know, that's my thing. I'm a... That's fucking hell, I can work. If I put my mind to it, uh, I can work so fast and hard that I can do... Oh, wow. I can manage a day's work in half a day. And that's that, that has saved me so many times. I, you know, other places in the past before I had my own business. I look at the way people are working. I'm like... You fucking joking? You know what I mean? I've always been a proper worker, and that's why I've always that's why I succeeded at my own thing. I'm always a worker, you know. Yeah, exactly, Cody. But the thing that's the thing is, um, I'm trying to keep the stream schedule as it should be because this is so important to me. And uh, YouTube is so fickle that if I, I mean, I never would, but if I said. Sorry lads, I'm not going to be here for about three weeks. I just, you know, it wouldn't be the same when I come back. It just wouldn't. So I'm trying my best to keep everything as as it needs to be. I know, you, I know, you lovely people would, but the, the channel itself wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be the same. You know, I'm a good sleeper. See, I, sleep I could do without sleep. I'm tired all the time, and I think as if you're an adult gamer with some kind of family or a business, you you you're tired because you want you still want that gaming time when you finish whatever you finish. It's still important to me to have a gaming session of some sort. You know, I don't go down the pub. I don't you know I don't do anything. I don't do anything. I just do this. You know what I mean? Some people might think that's sad. Hopefully you lot won't because you do it as well. But I need my gaming session. And I tell you what, there's nothing more frustrating than sitting down to a gaming session like Gran Turismo on the Tuesday Tuners and being frustrated by, you know, not being able to get your gaming session, not being able to get your fucking, your, your, your feed of games. I hate that. If I go to bed after a gaming session and I've had nothing but aggro, oh, it does really piss me off. But yeah, if you're if you're a dad or a husband or um, a business owner, 
and you still yeah, like your gaming time, one. like when you were young, yeah, a proper a proper session, not 20 minutes, not casual gaming. I'm talking about, you know, a gamer, two to three hours. You, you're tired because the thing that you end up sacrificing is sleep. That's that's the thing that goes out the window. It's fucking sleep goes out the window. Four kids, I'm busy trying to keep up with you, like I'm fucking shagged. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, I try not to. Obviously, I, I want to keep my lovely marriage alive. Fucking, I've been married for 20 odd years. Uh, so, like tonight, I said to I said I said to my wife because she's doing a degree, which is which is nice because she's got her thing and I've got this. But I said to her tonight because I'm streaming tomorrow. I'm streaming Friday. You know, I said tonight I want to sit down and just watch the telly. That's what I want to do. And she's a bit like, oh yeah, but I've got this chat. No, I'm streaming Thursday. I'm streaming Friday. I want to sit down and just do nothing with you and just you know. Keep keep and everything as it should be. It's all about juggling, isn't it? You know, that's the thing. Oh fucking hell. I know Matt, and it was awesome, wasn't it? The the days of doing that, you know. It's staying number two in Discord. <laughs> do nothing together, exactly. That's what I wanna do. I wanna do that tonight, so yeah, I will be doing it. Yeah, she's doing it. She's doing a um uh, what's it called? Like an open university thing. So she didn't want it to take over her life. I think it's over five years. She's doing a degree in history. Um, so there's a lot of reading there, as you can imagine. Um, I'm having a whole day of gaming tomorrow. I'm off. Awesome. Oh my god. Yeah, she's doing a degree in your plan. Remember, I don't only do this though. I do run a business as well. Admittedly, I don't do much work in the business. Um, but I know some of you lads do a similar job managing or, you know, just running the business is hard enough. I, okay, I don't, I don't go out and load the van up and go out and install things. Yeah, I don't do that, admittedly. Um, but it's still running takes, you know effort and time and hours, that's the thing, you know? And as much fun as I'm having, I consider this an, another business. This is just something else that I do. Sunday afternoon is my main time, banging the Xbox, nice one. It's nice to have a designated time. I am lucky and... I am lucky, I suppose, that I've got this as a cover. Not only am I trying to build something, uh, he's also doing my fucking favourite thing, which is crazy. Let's give him a bit of that. Oh yeah, straight in the fucking head. Oh god, I'm right on their patch, aren't I? <clears throat> but maybe as the channel grows, then I can spend not less time, but, you know, have more de designated slots. <laughs> you sinister old man. I know, I enjoyed that too much. But you know I like a chat. Fucking hell, you know I do. Oh, I love this mortar. It's not fucking so cheeky. That's the thing about it. It's such a, it is a bit of a chicken shit weapon, but of course it was used, wasn't it? Why not? Oh! Do what you love as a job. Yeah, I, I'm, it is a hard one. Obviously, I'm. Don't forget in all of this, and I and I do have to remind myself of this sometimes. Is that yeah, I've you know yeah, I am doing this and I am building it, but I do. I did employ my son to do my job so I can do this. So I've got to keep yeah, it in perspective. <laughs> oh, hello, murdering bastards. We have lost objective oh, hello. Daddy's home. Just having home and have a little tidy up. Come on. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Oh! Fucking hell, murdering machine. Absolutely murdering machine. I, I, I murdered that much, one of my USBs fell out. <laughs> and it was delicious, wasn't it? That was fucking, oh, 17 and 22. Backstabber. 
Yeah, he's 21. Um, I've just bought him a PlayStation, actually. I'm waiting for it to be delivered. I'm trying to get him into gaming. I'm trying to. He has been into it. He's been into it a little bit. He loves Uncharted on the PlayStation 3. He got it on. Um, he, like, he likes cars. He's always saying he needs to stay in more because, like, they, you know what youngsters are like. They come in, he finishes work here, he has a shit shave and a shower, and that's it. He's out till half 12 every night. And obviously, spending money, you know, um, eating out, fucking takeaways, and all that sort of shit, you know? So I said to him, get, let me get you a PlayStation for your birthday. And he's like, yeah, I might not use it though. Let me get you a PlayStation with Gran Turismo, and I'll get you the remastered. Um, Uncharted games, see if he plays it, you know? So I'm waiting for that bit to be delivered. But yeah, he is 21, but he's not much of a gamer, so it's not like... Uh, who was it the other day? Um, someone said, hang on, you're paying him to do a job that he would love to do. <laughs> no, he doesn't... No, he, no, he's a good lad. He doesn't do anything like that. He's not much of a drinker either, because I'm not. Oh, I'm, I'm, I, I, should, I should carry on streaming, because I'm starting to warm up now. Ouch. Get him The Last of Us. Yeah, exactly. That's what he likes. He likes the old... Um, and he completed it. I watched him complete it. And then he did it again as well. But then you try and chuck another game in front of him. Because he, he's not a, a sort of gamer gamer. He's like, yeah, no, it's alright. I think... Um, he's not helping him. He's not helping. I pay him. I, it's a proper job. I pay him. I pay him good money to do it. No, I sold that. Yeah, I sold that, unfortunately, the old, the old uh, standard one. I had to go out and I fucking spent way more on the other one than I did getting this one, but it's all good. I'll tell you what, though, you can't you can't buy a PlayStation standard for love or money. He's only got a 1080p um, screen. He's got my old TV, actually, my old 40-inch uh, TV in his bedroom. <clears throat> you can't find anywhere a PlayStation standard package. It's all gone pro really weird. I had to get one off eBay in the end, a new one. I had to get it off eBay. They've got, if you go into game, they've got, all, oh yeah, they've got all the deals advertised. There was this one deal for 260 quid. Uh, yeah, you can't find one though, Mikos, you can't find it. Um, you, there was a deal for 260 quid. Oh! Yeah, the standard is now the slim. Yeah. But you can't find them anywhere. No one has got them in stock. No one. Go, look on Argos now. You'll come up with all the best deals. Go and see the store and it will say, no, it's not available. Yeah, they pulled them back. There was, uh, that is it, everyone. But um, there was a deal for Uncharted, the new version. Um, Gran Turismo, one terabyte, standard. Um, yeah, I'll fucking have that. That's a good deal. Um, nah, they're not available. Yeah, it's like, well, you know, and then I start to be an annoying consumer. Listen, mate, it's up on your screen, rotating every three minutes, or whatever it is. I want that deal. Sorry, can't help you. Oh, for fuck's sake, you know? That is it, everyone. Thank you for um, putting up with me, rambling on. I do appreciate it. Tomorrow, hopefully, um, we're going to have a nice old play through the Elite Dangerous. I know you've seen it already on the stream, but we're going to take longer. We're going to chat about it. Hopefully, I'm going to get in the Chieftain, show you some wing missions, um, and look at some planets. So that's what my plan is tomorrow. I don't know when the beat is out. If it isn't out in time, maybe I'll do Battle for One on the PlayStation 4. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, but thank you, everyone. I'm going to go and do some work now. Have some lunch first. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you later on. Oh, I better do this one. Yeah, I'm not going. I'm going to do this.